So for this next question, you have to find the maximum value of y equals to 3x squared minus x cubed. Okay, the first thing to do is to rewrite the function. So you have power 3. Now the next thing to do is to differentiate. So you have dy over the x is equals to then differentiate 3x squared. That will give you 6x minus differentiate x to the power 3. That will give you 3x squared. Okay, then the next step is to equate this to 0. So you find dy over the x equals to 0. So if you equate this to 0, you will have 6x minus 3x squared equals to 0. Now, you factorize. So you have 3x is common here. This will give you 2 minus, then this will give you x is equals to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. So you have either x equals to 0 or then this will give you x equals to 2. So these are the two values of x now after getting the two values of x the next step to do is to differentiate a second time so you find the squared y over the x squared after finding this d squared y over the x squared then you come and substitute these two values inside this d squared y over the x squared so when you substitute if you have a negative value for the substitution that means you have a maximum point so if you have a negative value that's a maximum point then if you have a positive value that's a minimum point so let's differentiate the second time. So the squared y over the x squared will be equals to this will give you six. If you differentiate this, you get six. So you have six minus differentiate three x squared, that will give you six x. So let's substitute any both of these two guys. So if you see that if you substitute zero into this equation, this will give you six minus zero. Okay, which is a positive value. So that's a minimum point. But what you want is a maximum point. So let's substitute x equals to two. So if x equals to 2, you have 6 minus, you are putting 2 here, that will give you 12. So 6 minus 12 will give you minus 6. So this is a maximum point because it is negative. So there's a maximum point as x equals to 2. Now to find the value of y at that maximum point, all you have to do is move to your original function, which is this function here. Come to this function and substitute x equals to 2 at this point. So if you put x equals to 2 into this function, you have... 3 into putting 2 here, 2 times 2, that's 2 squared, that will give you 4 minus, and putting 2 here, 2 to the power 3 will give you 8. So, at the end of the day, you have 3 times 4, that will give you 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8 will give you 4. So, consider the correct option is option B. So, you move to option B and you shade option B. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. See you in the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching.